We start with the second Edinburgh derby of the season. The first at Tyne Castle had seen Hearts win by two goals to one. Robbie Nielsen's side took to the field this afternoon unbeaten in the championship season so far. How Hibs would dearly love to end that run at Easter Road. There for us was Rob McClay. Defender Jordan Foster is out injured for Hibs, but Liam Fontaine is fit to renew his central defensive partnership with Paul Hanlon. Otherwise, it's the team which won 4-0 at Livingston. One change for Hearts to the team that put five goals past Dumbarton last time out. Skipper Danny Wilson has apparently recovered from a hamstring injury and he replaces Jordan McGee. Strong play from Prince Boivin. Now Sam Nicholson, lovely ball through, Boivin bursting in, Billy King going to get it under control and that was Boivin's shot in the end, blocked by Paul Hamlin. Nice build up. But Hearts failing to find the finish. Here go Hibbs. Handley. Scott Allen gets himself into a great position, but he didn't take the shot on. Hibbs keep it alive with Scott Robertson. In from David Gray. Here's Allen again with the cutback. Saved by Alexander, and first there to the rebound was Prince Boivin. Fiercely struck this by Handling, and Alexander stuck up a left glove. And this was the earlier opportunity for Allen, and everyone was mystified that he didn't have a shot at goal. Long ball from David Gray. Danny Wilson waiting for the goalkeeper, he's in trouble here! Malonga's effort goes wide. And Danny Wilson breathes a massive sigh of relief. I'm not sure what was happening in his head here. It was never finding its way to the goalkeeper. It almost found its way into the heart's net. Dodd McGill could loan from Celtic. To the impressive Allen. Lining up the shot! Not that. What a first half he has had, the former Dundee United midfielder. Long ball from Callum Patterson, missed by So. El Hasnui is in behind Paul Hanlon. And he has passed up a big opportunity. Well, this would have been a sucker punch because of Hibbs' supremacy in the first half. Chance gone. In from Allen, Fontaine's header, it's Cummings, it's off the line, it's Malonga, and it's in. And Hibbs make the derby breakthrough in the 44th minute. And it's Dominic Malonga's fifth goal for the club. It was pinball inside that six-yard box until the ball popped up for Malonga and he crashed it home. And that's what it means to the manager. All the way through for Scott Allen. There's Malonga. And there's an early second half chance to add to his late first half goal. Jimmy Walker looking to have an instant impact off the bench. It was a really dangerous ball there. Mark Oxley got a hand to it. And somehow, Hibbs managed to scramble this behind. Good touch from Sam Nicholson. And a good effort! Well, he was hoping it might be play again, Sam, because he scored four hearts in the derby at Tynecastle ten weeks back. Walker threatening again. Here's Patterson. And it's a complete miss by Billy King. Back in from Eckersley. And they were queuing up again. And no one could get the important touch. He's been shook out since coming off the bench. It's Walker. And he just ran into trouble that time. And off goes Malonga. And he's hauled down by Colin Patterson.
Ferguson, and that is a straight red card. And Hearts, one goal down, are now one man down to go with it. Inside, stoppage time. It's Ali Mostak! It is sensational! It's Turkish delight, it's Jambo's joy, and it's a spectacular salvage operation right at the end of the Edinburgh derby. Incredible! 1 1. I thought we deserved to win the game, you know. I thought we, the players were were fantastic with everything they tried to do in the game, and it's unfortunate that you know such a such a goal can can change the outcome of a game. It's a difficult place to come at the best of times, you know, to get out of ten men with half an hour to go, and you know, have started creating some chances, and we kept going, and we kept going, and we kept trying to do the right things, and we we got a reward in the end. We'll take another look at Alim Ozturk's stupendous strike very shortly, but. Much better from Hibs generally, Pat. And in Dominique Malonga, they seem to have a striker, the sort of striker they've been kind of crying out for. For an awful long time. I thought Hibs would get, first of all, what a great game of football, mm -hmm. both sides. I think it was absolutely superb. Put a lot of pressure on all the way through, particularly the first half, Hibs was superb. Looks like bad defending, in some degree it is, but the wind was creating havoc there. But Malonga, as you say, really quick onto everything. But I would say that about the entire Hibs team. From this corner kick, superb the way that they chased it. And first of all, Every Hearts player is marking a Hibs player. That's perfect marking. Well done to the Hearts players. The problem is they then didn't react to the same way the Hibs players did. Four of them go and chase it in, really close in, against one. And that, de that desperation, that willingness to go into it, really underlined what Hibs were like in that first half. I, I, don't, feel, I don't think I'm exaggerating. I think it's the best I've seen them play for a couple of years. You know, they played really well at Rangers the other week there, but I thought that was a superb, particularly first half. But Hearts are a good side, Stephen. As the match wore on, they, well, they got more into it, didn't they? Yeah, they were pushing, you know, in the second half heavily to try and get the equaliser, and uh, they had a couple of very good chances. Just a long ball here. I don't know if the defender misreads it, and I, th it, I think it probably takes that a bit early. Um, probably taking another touch. This is another great ball, and and <laughs> it's just taking his eye off it a bit. Um, and this, of course, is the sending off. Well, see, see if he's going to trip him there. That's fine, but that's not a trip. That's a rake. And to yeah. referees, perfectly on the spot again. And again, referees get things right and wrong, but that's a good decision now. I mean, this one I felt quite sorry <laughs> because Oster gets the ball here. Normally you get over, Hibs had been great getting over, but this is 93 minutes, a little bit of sadness, can't get there. But you're not expecting no. them to shoot from nearly 40 yards. Stunning. There was that's a few incredible. people that had to dig, didn't they, about the goalkeeper. Well, I don't think the goalkeeper can reach well, the this. The goalkeeper's pretty much on his line, and he's at full stretch when his hand goes up there, uh, but the ball's dipping. When when Ostark hits that ball, it dips probably two or three feet. He, uh, he, and he it's cannot, such power. You no, know, he can't do anything except look gutted, and he does it brilliantly. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the last seconds, though, and it was a great derby game. It had absolutely everything in it, and also quality football from both teams. One of the best derby games I've seen for a long time. A moment that Ali Ostark will certainly remember. Did Hibs really need to win that match to stand a chance of finishing top of the championship? I think Hibs are still feeling the same way. They're trying to get to playoffs. Full stop. Is that you, the way you see it, Stephen? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I, I think they're too far behind to consider themselves for one of the th first two positions. But, um, yeah, they've got a job on their hand to make the playoffs as well, because it's not easy. Absolutely. OK, we finish with...